Hello there. In this episode, we're going to use the code snippets panel to apply common actions to an object that's on our stage. Let's take a look at the project first so we can show you how I set up everything for you to be able to do this on your own. So if you look at the stage, I have this blue square here. The blue square is positioned slightly to the left of the main stage area. I'm doing this purposely because we're going to position the object using ActionScript with the code snippets um, in, the, in the end of the video. With this object, I've given it a particular name. In this case, it's called blue square, which is the instance name for this, uh, for this square. Using code snippets, I can take a specific action from the code snippets panel and apply that to an instance directly on the stage. You do this by selecting the object and then applying the code snippets from the panel. So let's do this with something pretty basic. Let's do it with click to position an object. I have the object selected on stage. I'm going to go to the code snippets panel and say pos click to position an object. At the top, you'll see there's a button here called add to current frame. I'm going to click this and you'll see that it pastes a whole bunch of action script directly into the, um, into the frame on our timeline. Let's take a look at the code and see how this is constructed. If you remember, we use, we use comments with, uh, with a slash and an asterisk to represent different comments or, or annotations we want to add to our code. All the code snippets include a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of comments to make it easy for you to understand how to modify the code snippets to work with your own projects. In this case, we have some comments here that show the instructions on how to modify click to position an object. So we have instructions here. Number one, replace the value 200 with the x coordinate. Replace the number 100 with the y coordinate. If you look at the bottom, you'll see that the action script itself is created. You'll notice that the familiar add event listener, mouse event click, the function that we used before, handling a mouse event coming in from the click handler, returning the void type for this, and then repositioning the x and y coordinate. This is all review that you've been we've done on multiple videos before. But now all of this is done inside of a code snippet, so we can do this really easily. And you don't have to write the code entirely from scratch on your own. So let's go ahead and try this and see how it works. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to run my project. Now, the position of the, of the square is not exactly in the right spot. So I actually need to modify the code a little bit to get the, to get the exact behavior. The code snippet is a great first step for how you work with your code. In this case, let's actually modify a little bit to give it the exact behavior that we want. In this case, let's add the event listener to the stage. So I'm going to take the instance that we have here and say stage. And let's run this again. You see, when I run, when I run this, if I click, nothing actually happens. Let me expand the window and show why. The position of the object is actually outside of the movie. That's because the movie size is actually smaller than the position of where I created the object. So let's go back into the code and modify it again so we can get the right, right result. Let's change our x to 50 and change our y to 50. Again, if I needed a reminder, I could look back at the code snippet instructions at the top and see how I would modify the code to get the desired result. Let's save this and run it again and click. There. Now the position is correct of the object. So as you can see, code snippets are a great way to simplify creation of new action script code. And I can use the code snippets to put in a whole bunch of pre-built code and then customize it based on exactly what I want to do on my project. So in the next video, we're going to continue looking at code snippets and start looking at other ways we can provide actions onto the different objects on our stage.